Hi guys, today we're going to read Ruby Finds a Worry. Ruby Finds a Worry by Tom Percival. Ruby loved being Ruby. Ruby. She loved to swing up high. And she loved to explore far away wild places. Sometimes she even went all the way to the very bottom of the garden. Ruby was perfectly happy until one day what happens? She, found a wall. she discovered a worry. It wasn't a very big worry. You see the worry? Ruby looks a little surprised there. In fact, it was so small that at first Ruby hardly even noticed it. But then the worry started to grow. See the worry here? Now it's getting bigger. Now look over here. Each day it got a little bigger. It just wouldn't leave her alone. See it? It's right there. It was there at breakfast staring at her over the cereal box and it was still there at night when she brushed her teeth. She doesn't look very happy that it's still there. What is this face? A little man. The funny thing was that no one else could see Ruby's worry, not even her teacher. So Ruby pretended that she couldn't see it either. See how she's pretending? Not, it's not there. She tried to carry on as if everything was normal, but it wasn't. The worry was always there, stopping her from doing the things that she loved. Like swinging. Ruby wondered if the worry would ever go away. What if it didn't? What if it stayed with her forever? Ruby didn't realize it, but she was doing the worst thing you can ever do with a worry. She was worrying about it. You mean she's playing the piano and worrying about it? She's having cake and worrying about it? She's bicycling? It's still there. Now the worry was enormous. It could barely fit in the kitchen at dinner time, and it filled up half the school bus. Look how big it is now. See the kitchen and then the bus. It's getting so big. What's she gonna do? And it took a whole rose at the movie theater. The worry became the only thing that Ruby could think about, and it seemed like she would never feel happy again. Look how big it is now. Then one day something unexpected happened. Ruby noticed a boy sitting alone at the park. He looked how she felt. How do you think he feels, that little boy? How do you think he feels, him? Sad. Sad. And then she noticed something else. Something hovering next to him. Could it be a worry? It was. Ruby realized that she wasn't the only person with a worry after all. Other people had them too. See? All these other people also have worries. She asked the boy what was on his mind, and as he told her, the strangest thing happened. His worry began to shrink. See his worry getting smaller over here? Then Ruby did the best thing you can ever do if you have a worry. What's that? <sighs> she talked about it. As the words tumbled out, Ruby's worry began to shrink until it was barely there at all. Soon, both of their worries were gone. They look a lot happier. 
Ruby finally felt like herself again. Of course, that wasn't the last time she had a worry. Everyone gets them from time to time. But now that she knew how to get rid of them, they never hung around for very long. And there's the little worry. So have you ever had a worry? Have you ever had a worry? I know I have lots of worries. So when you have a worry, best thing to do is talk about it with someone or just go be with someone maybe and feel better. Bye guys.